Hello fellow modelers, Boyd here with you. Well, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys this new uh, control board that I'm trying out. I'm actually going to use this board in my uh, AMT Enterprise E build that I'm working on right now. You guys will actually see the install of this board coming up in part 3 right after this video. But I wanted to make a video today to kind of introduce you to this board. Um, the good people over at Hobby Link International are putting these out. They've had them out now for maybe about a month or two. And this is what they call their um, 001A uh, nav navigation and strobe board. So what we have here is we have this really tiny little control board down here, which I really like. It's a nice small size. As you guys know, I like to mount to uh, mount my control boards inside the model, and the uh, 1400 scale Enterprise E kit's actually pretty tight tight space inside there. So this is going to work out really good. But uh, what this board basically does is. Uh, Two different outputs you have a navigation output with a kind of a steady blinking lights effect and then you have a faster kind of pulsing strobe kind of effect so i'm not really particularly worried about the exact timing on the uh, navigation lights of the enterprise e as compared to what was in the film a lot of the um, federation type ships throughout most of the movies sort of all had a very similar uh, blink rate as far as the navigation lights and the strobe lights so this is a really good general purpose sort of um control board that'll work for a lot of applications uh, you know you can think of all kinds of other things like airplanes uh, little lighthouse dioramas or I'm just kinda of pulling things out of thin air here but it has a lot of uh, potential uses for it and um, you have two options when you buy this system you can either buy the board by itself which runs right around fifteen dollars which is a super bargain these days you know as modeling goes we all know uh, the prices continue to climb on all this stuff so you know, finding economical ways to do things is always a plus. So hats off to those guys for keeping the uh, price on that really low. And uh, hopefully they'll, you know, they'll have um, uh, more, they'll continue to upgrade and uh, uh, have more variety in the control boards going forward. I know they've already got a couple new models come out for specific ships. I'm being told that that's what they're looking to get into. But you can order this uh, board all by itself as you can, or you can, get the entire package that we see here which is the uh, kit itself which runs right around thirty dollars which is still a really good bargain you get these extra um, pre-wired harnesses with LEDs that are pre-resistored so you don't have to worry about any problems there you can hook them up directly to the board and they're ready to go you get a, a power jack over here that you can mount into your base or whatever you, you know method you're going to use to display your model You've got some little jumper pins in here to attach additional boards onto or use for solder points. And the really cool thing is you get an uh, included power supply here, which is a 9-volt, 1-amp rated power supply, which is uh, pretty much more than enough to handle uh, the load that this will take to operate and also any other additional lighting in the ship. If you start getting up into like the 350 scale or uh, some of the larger, you know, the Enterprise refit and some of those, you may require a bigger power supply, but this kit's not intended for that. This kit is for basic, you know, small to medium size um, model kits, and um, it's a perfect application for that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, if you come back and watch episode three of my Enterprise E build, you'll get to see the entire uh, process of me installing this in the model. I'll show you how to wire it up. Very simple. You only got a couple of connections. You got to have a basic um, soldering skills, and I'll show you how to. Uh, get the wires attached so we can go ahead and get this mounted and installed in the model we're just going to operate like I said two circuits there we've got a navigation lights on the saucer and we got a couple of strobe light locations on the engine nacelles and parts of the hull and I think up by the bridge we'll probably have one so we're going to get this all set up uh, in episode two you recall I installed all the SMDs and everything so we're already ready to go with all of that all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, give these a give these a look, guys. If you're looking for some type of a control board, you want to keep it really simple, affordable, and uh, stay on the watch for future boards that they're going to be uh, to be releasing. Sounds really like really exciting stuff. I always like to support the people over at HLI. Kenny Conklin, who operates the community over there, is a really great guy. And thanks again, Kenny, for sending this out to me. I really appreciate it. And um, 
check out the community over there, guys. A long time, the people that have followed my channel here a long time know I'm a big supporter of the group over there. Kenny does a great job keeping modelers informed about modeling news, uh, people posting and sharing their work over there, all kinds of really cool stuff if you're into modeling. So check it out. All right, you guys, like usual, take care and happy modeling. We'll see you next time, and uh, we'll be back in just a day or two with uh, episode three of our Enterprise E-Build on the Trekworks channel. See you then.